Good morning, sweet girl. Hey, Google, stop. Hey, Google, stop. Hi. Good morning, my gorgeous. Did you sleep good? Yeah. She started laughing a little bit yesterday, guys. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had noticed her laughing. Here, let me get her up. Hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning, pretty girl. Yeah. So I had picked her up the other day. Let me see. Today's Thursday on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. I picked her up. I was changing her and I picked her up from under her arms and I thought I heard a giggle and I was like, oh my gosh, was that a giggle? And she wouldn't do it again. Um, and so I thought I was, I tickled her or something. And Andres was holding her yesterday and she did the same thing. And he was like, I think she just laughed. And I said, yeah, I heard it the other day. So he was like trying to make her giggle and he wouldn't do it I couldn't get it on camera um and then last night I know I know I'm going last night he said Dredge. and then last night he said he was um doing the same thing like picking her up to put her in pajamas and that she like full-on giggled under her arm when he had his finger like or his arm his hand under his, her arm and so I'm like, dang it, <laughs> she's growing up, she's getting big, huh, mama? Why are you laughing? You don't seem to be in a very smiley mood right now. Huh. You're hungry. Okay, let's get some breakfast. Autumn wants me to see her open the gate by herself. Oh, Lord. The gate's meant to keep you out. Now you learned how to do it. Look, show Sissy. Oh, oh no. Can we do the sprinkler today? You're going in Nin's house. <laughs> Careful, close the gate. Are you it's meant here? to keep you in. Are you downstairs? Yes, ma'am. We're going what are you doing? to Nin's house. I, I do, I do it. We gotta do hair. Okay, mommy. Let's go, hair. Mommy, Head back. I'm doing Elsa Braid.
you do? <laughs> hey guys, good morning. I just got done doing all the girls' hair. They wanted Elsa braids. Well, so we call one French braid an Elsa braid uh, to like pigtail French braids. Um, we call them Anna braids. So Emmy and Autumn wanted Elsa braids and Maddie, oh my gosh, I'm getting them all confused. Maddie wanted, yes, Emmy and Autumn got Elsa braids. Maddie wanted an Anna braid. So the life of a mom of four girls, three of them that have hair that required to be done. <laughs> Just got done doing that. I am dropping the three big girls off with Nin. They're going to just play at her house. She's Nin's been cooped up and isolated as well. They're gonna play at her house for several hours just to get out and you know, I think they're going to run in the sprinkler and who knows what else Nin has concocted for them. They'll have a lot of fun though and it's just gonna be me and Everly here at the casa doing nothing. <laughs> but it'll be a little bit of a break for me and a little bit of a break for them of just like their normal routine being here at the house and a little bit of a break for me to be able to watch TV that I haven't been able to watch since they've been here, catch up on my shows and stuff like that. So I made it through the night. I went to bed last night, I think around 1230, which is, has been pretty early for me. I've been going to bed between 1, 30, like 1, 1 30, 2 o'clock insane because we've all been sleeping late all of the girls none of them woke up until about 8 30 this morning all four of them and i looked at the monitor and um I, autumn had already gotten up and went into maddie's room to play donkey kong that's been their thing emmy when i went to go check at her it was like check on her um right when everly woke up she was still in her bed laying down she wasn't like asleep but she was sitting. okay y'all need to go figure it out okay Okay, I love you. Go play. Y'all need to let your sister in. Let her play too. This is a constant battle every day. I'm sure if you have multiple children, you totally understand. <laughs> Mommy says he did this. Mommy Emmy did this. Mommy Autumn and Maddie did this. Constant all day long. <laughs> it's glorious. Uh, and like I said, you know, even during the summer, I was talking about this yesterday. It's it's one of those things like at least they have some time away from each other because we have various like Girl Scout camps and um, preschool camps and school camps and different things like that and um, I hear my name again that's why we like playing the switch because it has multiple controllers they can all play at once um, it's really hard with the Super Nintendo's because there's it's a two-player game and so they have a hard time even though there are two Super Nintendo's upstairs they want to play with each other but there's three of them so there's always an odd man out anywho um, yeah summer is usually a lot easier than just like staying quarantined but it's for the greater good we totally understand I actually got to talk to the girls teachers today they are I don't know if I talked about this yesterday they are sending home work they're actually emailing us a packet we have to go pick up an assessment packet that they have to turn in every Friday and um, I'm not sure how that's going to work I guess a drive up like drive up and the teacher hands it to you I don't know should I spray it with Lysol they say like uh, Emmy's teacher was telling me how much disinfecting they were doing around the school even though they've had zero cases of it within schools and stuff like that um, he was telling me how much disinfecting they were doing around the so maybe the paper is safe i don't know but anyway we have to pick up assessment packets that we have to turn in every friday for the foreseeable future until they go back to school and there's a packet that they're emailing us that we have to print out at home or i guess you can pick it up too print it out at home and it's work that they have to do throughout the week but there's a certain portion of it that has to be turned in every friday and i guess that's going to get them through the school year i don't really know i you know i'm sure you guys are all going through this too like not having any idea of really what's going on so yeah that's kind of where we're at right now but it was nice to talk to them they miss the kids the kids miss them the girls are okay being out actually i've seen some kids that are super sad you know like crying and stuff like that and yesterday i was actually crying because i was talking to um autumn's preschool teacher who they have seen all the girls like as soon as we got custody of emmy when she was one and a half we found a preschool and 
um, they provide all the way up through pre-k and it's a private school and so we've always oh bless oh does coffee you okay <laughs> um, we've always chosen to put them in there because there's a tuition so it's just sad because you know they're it's it's independently owned and because of that it's like I feel I'm, I'm just worried you know they've they've taken care of Emmy all the way up until she started she was in I think she was in after school care in kinder yeah so she they took care of all the, her all the way up to kinder they've took care of Maddie from nine months all the way up to kinder and they've taken care of Autumn since I put her in the preschool pro the pre preschool two program with them all the way up till now and so I when I told her you know that we were all just going to stay home even if they open like I'm gonna leave Autumn out of the program until because she's in she would be in pre-k in August in their pre-k program and I told her I was like I don't I don't want to register her or anything right now because I don't know how long this is going to happen and as long as I have the big girls out I'm not going to send Autumn anywhere because I don't want to risk any of them getting anything if schools are safe to go into she can go back to preschool but I don't want to I don't want to do it until then and so I I felt like she was almost about to cry and that made me want to cry and I just like the whole thing is just oh, sucky so anyway I know these are not big problems in comparison to some of you guys although I have seen like <sighs> feel emotional I have seen um, the like San Antonio food bank is really stepping up not that they haven't before but they're um, making like drive-through systems for people to come pick up food most of the school districts in San Antonio are doing drive-up systems to come pick up food I know like the girls school has um, boxes of stuff that they're putting together every single day for parents to go pick up if they are in need of food um, I just feel like there's so much going on right now that you know you can get assistance and help and it makes me proud of the community that is trying to come together to take care of people oh, I don't know why I'm crying anyway I have to stop talking about this because I'll probably keep crying it's crazy I have I'm gonna drop the girls off at 1130 it's 10 o'clock now um back to the fasting part let me get to something else <laughs> before I keep crying but um I did I was able I went to bed I fasted I haven't eaten anything this morning and that wasn't my intention it's just my intention every single morning first thing is Everly I feed her and again I'm still breastfeeding her and so we breastfeed and then we bottle feed and then do the whole thing also I've moved her to these larger bottles just because they're easier to shake I was finding with the smaller bottles the formula wasn't mixing up as well so this gives more shake room um, but I find that the nipple on this tends to like cave in a little bit when she's sucking on it I don't know I need to I don't feel like I've ever had that problem with Tommy Tippies before but these are so anyway I gave her I breastfed her gave her a bottle I changed her diaper laid her down and then I got myself dressed and um, wash my face brush my teeth still haven't done anything with my eyebrows and my hair I cannot keep wearing it up because my hairline is super thinning my temple areas are super thinning from just postpartum hair loss so I really did not want to straighten it I, I blow dried it blew it dry yesterday in hopes that I was going to straighten it and I didn't straighten it last night and so today I was like oh it's kind of ugly outside it looks like it's gonna rain I didn't want to straighten it but I don't want to keep wearing it up because I'm just doing more damage to the hairline so I think I am going to take the time to straighten it I wanted to make sure the girls were 100% ready they had breakfast um, bless the big girls they I have seen so many things on Facebook that have talked about teaching your kid home ec stuff and you know teaching them how to do laundry well my girls know how to do laundry thank goodness they know how to fold and put away um, Emmy's been teaching herself her sewing machine a little bit more. We've been having her watch some YouTube videos how to do it because I don't know how to sew and I have don't know the first thing about knowing how to sew. So um, she's been watching YouTube videos to try and learn. She wants to make her dolls, her stuffed animals and her dolls clothes, which I think is the cutest thing ever. And we have some um, extra fabric that we had left over from when Autumn was a baby and we had like backdrops and stuff for picture taking so um, she's been learning that and 
we, I think tomorrow I'm going to teach them how to crack. Okay, Emmy knows how to crack an egg, but she doesn't really know good enough to not get shells in it. So we're gonna learn and um, teach them some of that stuff. And I actually saw a really cute thing. I think the budget mom was talking about it on Instagram of teaching your kids to plant, which the girls know how to plant. They love planting things in the backyard. Half of it doesn't work out. But I was thinking about um, seeing, I don't even know if like Walmart or Home Depot carry this stuff or if it's like all wiped out, but getting some soil, we have some pots and getting, um, what did she say? She, herbs. She did, I don't know what, like maybe parsley, basil, whatever, super easy to grow and seeing if the girls could learn how to do that. And I guess the reason we've never done stuff like this during the summer is because it's always so hot here so hot in the summer we hit 100 plus almost every single day and so if you're not out first thing in the morning i'm talking like 6 to 8 a.m 9 a.m or out late like past 7 p.m even then it's really hot it's so hot outside so i never really have them do stuff like that so i was thinking about having them grow something learning how to cook their own eggs even if it's like for Maddie in the microwave, she's been able to do really well on the step stool and get things from the fridge for herself and stuff like that. Um, Emmy, when her hair is straight, I try and teach her how to do different hairstyles, like put it up in a proper ponytail and stuff like that. She struggles when it's curly, so when it's straight, I give her that opportunity to, to braid and, you know, stuff like that. Um, so we're we're trying we're trying to do different things than just sit in front of electronics all day But it's hard. I have always had a 100% appreciation for stay-at-home moms and for teachers never in a million years would I dream of judging them because I know How difficult it can be to have Children where their parents just don't care about anything like well, okay I don't know personally, but I can only imagine I would hate I never wanted to be a teacher never never <laughs> It's I mean so crazy how much is put on their shoulders. I've always had the utmost respect I am one of those parents that is like Tell me what you need for my for your classroom I will buy it for you to for you to continue to teach my kids. I will provide whatever you need I am the first one there for teachers appreciation week I am the Christmas gift mom the end of the school year gift mom because I appreciate teachers so much because I could never be a teacher and now that I'm being forced to like homeschool my kids I have an even greater appreciation because I am nervous as I'll get out. Nervous, even just to keep them entertained is so hard. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, we've been trying to read every day and, you know, mix in some electronics and do their workbooks and do a puzzle, something thinking. Oh, it's just been crazy. And not only that, I have an appreciation more for stay-at-home moms because, I mean, okay, I've been... I don't consider myself a stay-at-home mom, but I am a stay-at-home working mom for the most part because I, I don't go out of the house much to work a couple times a week and when I'm just at the hospital, it's one 12-hour shift a week. If I even end up going, I'm not on call or whatever. So I pretty much stay at home and my job, which is not even really a job to me, is anything social media, YouTube, whatever, editing videos, things like that, which again is super easy, can be time consuming, but super easy, laid back, very flexible. So um, for me, I didn't want to be a stay at home mom. I know that may for some of you is like, oh, gasp, I can't imagine not staying at home with my babies and watching them grow. And it's not about watching them grow. For me, it's more about the patients. I want to maintain a good relationship with my kids. And I feel like when they're home all day with me, we get snappy as parents. It's, it's easy to just fall into that routine of sending them away, doing electronics and, you know, it's hard when you have multiple children to divvy up your time to each one of them. And I feel like when you work, your time spent with them is even more. My battery cut me off. But I feel like when, when you work, your time with them is even more precious. And when you're at home, you take it for granted. And I'm just speaking truth here. You guys may not, you may totally not agree with me. And that's fine. We're all entitled to our own opinions. I just feel that this is what happens just overall when you're home with your kids you take it for granted um like we all have been everyone's complaining you know about having them home for all this time and about having to homeschool them me included and we all should be thankful that we're 
being able to spend this extra time with them and that they're safe and they're happy and they're healthy and it's just it's easy to overlook those things when the bigger picture is that I'm overwhelmed I'm stressed I have anxiety about this whole thing and I have to still be a great parent you know I'm sure so many of you can you feel this you feel what I'm saying and I'm just projecting it <laughs> but um, some of you may not agree you may just completely be like I I love this you know and it's not that I don't love it I enjoy spending time with them I just am a little overwhelmed with the idea that I have to be their teacher and keep them entertained for who knows how long at this point you know I mean they're out until April 6th and finally some laughter and not fighting and my heart sank for a minute <laughs> Um, they're out until April 6th and even in the email, you know, they said really you should plan on them being out longer Their school gets out May 29th So it's not like even if they go back it's for very long before they're home for another three months for summer So anyway, I've talked for about 20 minutes and I need to straighten my hair So thank you for listening and having our morning conversation about this. I know it's really hard I try and interact with you guys in the comments as much as possible I answer questions, but if you really want somebody to talk to, you really, you know, want to converse with me, um, send me a DM on Instagram. That is the easiest way because I get it directly to my phone and I answer, I, I try and answer everybody. So, yes, morning talking session with Melissa it may have made your day more depressing. I'm sorry if it did, <laughs> but uh, we're all in this together, right? Nin got a whole bunch of stuff, activities for the kids. She's building a sandbox over there. Um, she has a tether. This was Autumn's little bouncy ball that we had at the house. She tethered it to the tree. A little basketball court. Good job. She got some sidewalk chalk, jump ropes, a little ball game. They're gonna have so much fun over here. You're sure we're so resourceful, Mama. I don't want to hear any fighting. You understand? No fighting. There's enough balls for everybody, baby. Y'all can all take turns. <laughs> I did it. Can I use the basketball? Please? Look. Basketball Ooh, careful. Everybody. So let's just keep the, the soft. Ones, I okay? did it, mommy. That's so cute, Nin. That's perfect. Nin has big plans for over here. She's got that sandbox. She's gonna do monkey bars and a slide in the corner. Just be careful with the mud, okay? I have not seen gas a dollar seventy in I can't even remember how long I thought a dollar eighty five was pretty good it just keeps going lower and lower and lower so the day is pretty much over uh, I took the girls to Nin's house they stayed there for I don't know like four or five hours they had a good time they played and did I don't even know what Nin sent me one picture of them playing in the sprinkler so they had a good time. I came back and I watched every show that was on my DVR to watch. All of my, like, my Big Fat Fabulous Life, I Am Jazz, Grey's Anatomy, uh, The Biggest Loser. What else did I watch? I watched one other show, I think, but I, mm, I can't remember what it was. So I've also been doing my painting with Diamond. I am legit almost done. Almost done. I have probably just like a couple of more hours to it which is like so tedious and i can't even go to the store amazon is delivering very very slowly and i can't even go to the store to buy a frame for it so for right now once i'm actually done with it it's just going to maybe be hung up in my office by like tape or something until i can get a frame but i'm pretty proud of it so that's what we've been doing we finished up dinner um i had some linguine let me show you all that pasta that I had. So we had spaghetti and meatballs. I had a bag of turkey meatballs. This is all there is left, four little lonely meatballs. And I put one jar of pasta sauce and I did one whole thing of the whole wheat linguine. And that's what we had for dinner. So there's enough left for like one lunch tomorrow. The girls love spaghetti so they always devour it when they have it and it was good I've done really good on my eating all day I've been tracking everything and I don't even think I told you earlier fasting did work I ended up losing a third of a pound 0.3 pounds which is pretty cool I've also just been drinking water I've been saving these bottles and cleaning off the 
tip in just refilling them because they're super easy to drink from. So, and they're easy to like throw places instead of some of my reusable cups. I have to make sure they're upright when I'm on the couch. I use those a ton too, but lately these have just been super easy for me. So the girls are watching TV. We're gonna do baths in a little while and I'm just gonna continue doing my painting with Diane. Ready for a showdown? Okay, blink ready? Blink, go. No, don't blink. It's a stare down. <laughs> Uno as a family after Spanish lessons don't mind the nasty glass table we had to show daddy how to play Uno because the girls have gotten really good one two three I have seven I have a yeah you're playing Uno too I find this glass, I find this glass <laughs> table so crazy. I find this glass table very easy to look at others because you can just look under and it shows the Well don't the cheat. No I'm not <laughs> just cheated. No, I, I moved did, the table. I didn't do this. You did? Oh <laughs> nasty. Oh I finished. I finished it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been working very hard on this today. So the only thing that I can't tell why it looks like that is I can tell there's like a moon here a tree some birds hearts balloons the couple some butterflies and flowers here in the grass or whatever and a tree but do you see like this part right here I can't quite figure out why it's like a block and why it didn't fade better everything else faded I don't know I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't think so. I mean, I'm pretty sure I followed it correctly, but it looks strange. Like it should be part of the tree and it doesn't blend very well. I don't know. So the rest of it looks really pretty though. Yay, it only took me a year.